Gaffer, let me start by saying happy anniversary. Two years today. It's been a ride, a ride, hasn't it? Absolutely. It's been a, a very good journey for all, I think. Uh, you know, I mentioned it many times, but for myself, the staff, the players, and of course the, the club and the town, you know, it's been a, a fantastic time. And of course, you know, it's not about, of course, yeah, I have to reflect um, on any anniversary you normally do. But to be honest, it's done. It's parked. We move forward. You know that that's that's what it's like being a football manager. It's it's parked very quickly, and we move forward very quickly. Yeah, but the end of the career, when you look back on all those kind of things, for now, it's all about one direction, is it? Yeah, I mean, it, it is that kind of process. And don't get me wrong, you know, there's many things that we've done here have been very good, many things to be proud of. But it is just compartmentalised. You know, you you leave it almost immediately. I remember when we beat Wigan last year. I remember going home and saying, right, next things on, what we're going to do, where we're going to plan, what we're going to do, how can we move things forward, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So. It's just the nature of how I am, and it's the nature of the business, really. You know, you can't sit back and reflect all the time. But it's fair to say, of course, we must do as my second anniversary and, and the work that's been done and, and what's been achieved here in them two years. In those two years, you've moved up the, the managerial ladder. 23rd longest serving manager, I think it is. 23rd, 24th longest serving manager. Well, wow. the, the crazy world of uh, what it is, you know, Managers come and go so rapidly now out of uh, league clubs. It's it's one of those strange things, you know. You can we can all debate rhymes and reasons, ups and downs, ins and outs. I had my own fair share of questioning in my first season, then an amazing season last season. Still getting questioned now for different reasons, you know. Maybe a bit more reality to it in the division we're in, but people still question it. Still, you got to win. You got to do this. You got to do that. Just the nature of what we're in. Um, but to be twenty third. <laughs> with only two years in, into a club is quite amazing and it is the reality of the job that we do. I question why people let you do a job like this when it might only last you a couple of years. No, you've got to remember though, this, the highs are super highs, you know, last season, uh, in my first season, you know, I learned a lot about myself, the club, the people, the demands and, and enjoyed that process and, you know, the, my full season last season was amazing for all, um, you know, a lot was made out of that. But I'm learning a lot, you know, and I'm learning a lot now. You know, it's, it's often in these times when it's, it is hard going, and it is at the moment because you need them wins. You're playing in the Premier League, highest, arguably the highest level of football in the world. And uh, little old Burnley, which many say, are in that Premier League, and we're in there, valid reasons, we should be there. And now it's about reminding ourselves we should be there, not only with performances, because you've got to do more than performances, you've got to win. And irony of irony, <laughs> little old Burnley, Sean Dyche comes up against the man who's been there at the top 17 years, I think, Arsene Wenger this weekend. What, what a weekend that is for everybody. Yeah, I mean, you know, these these people like Arsene Wenger, Sir Alex, you know, Jose Mourinho and, and amongst many other fantastic managers, you know, and, and they have delivered over a longer period of time through all the ups and downs. I mean, Arsene Wenger, a legend at Arsenal, a legend in the game, still doing it, still believing in what he does, still promoting what he does, still winning games, still trying to win things. He got questioned last year, you know, early on. It's, it's an amazing task that we have often as football managers, but we love it, I make it clear. The demands, the ups, the downs, the ins and outs, the, the, the joy of what we do is still there, and it has to be there, really, for what we do. Can you comprehend that he's been there 17 years? It, it, it it's amazing, like it's amazing what... for, I don't know what year you'd cut off at, but I think, my point is it's amazing managers going to year fours and fives, mm. you know, just because of the stats, the demands, the the demand for everything yesterday, you know, the, the process of building, trying to build a club, secure a club's future, make it right, make it worth. Often now, different quarter, different, uh, not quarters, different, different people's ideas of the game, you know, people often want that thrown away. It's like, oh, well, shouldn't be bothered about that. Don't bother about the future, bother about the now. It's a strange one. Um, and yet then people, if you think about it, Sir Alex, Arsene they have built clubs, they've built ways of working, they've built processes, they've built um, belief systems, they've built a brand, if you like, for the club of what it stands for. And, and I think that's, that can only be done over time. Unfortunately, the stats will tell you, not many managers get time. Yeah, and the, the, the task <coughs> for you this weekend is immense. I mean, you're going to a club who have a rich, rich recent history. And these are the challenges that we all wanted. This is one of the challenges we all looked at and said, Arsenal, where, what a game to go to. The challenge for you really is to enjoy that, but also find a way of winning that game, which is never going to be now, easy. Now, I make it clear, in, enjoyment in the job that I do is about winning. It always has been for me. You know, whatever level you're working at, whatever level you're working with, whatever team, whatever the demands, whatever the reality is, you want to win. That's the real joy. You know, it, it's, it's a great thing for the fans to enjoy. It's a great thing for the players, retrospectively, to enjoy. 
But at the moment when it's happening, you just want to win. Hmm. You know, whatever stadium you're in, against whatever manager, against whatever team, you just want to win. That's the key focus. That's always been my focus. When I was a player, I was like that. Coaching, I was like that. Managing, I'm like that. Um, it's just a better environment to do it in. Hmm. You know, in the top levels of football in the world, in some amazing stadiums, playing against amazing players and amazing managers. You know, all of that encapsulates just the reality of being in the Premier League. Do you have the bonus of a fit Dean Morney this weekend to call on? Yeah, he's fit. He's had a good week with us. Um, he's certainly back into the thoughts, um, quite obviously. Um, and we're, we're more or less getting back to it. Reedy was training today. He needs another week with us, um, proper training. But he was back training. And obviously, folks, he's going nicely. Um, still inching along as he does. And dead on, dead on uh, time scales, yeah, uh, for his recovery. Um, so we're really pleased with that as well. So... Matt is a bit longer, obviously, everyone knows about that now, so that one's a bit longer. But generally, the squad are looking back to full fitness, more or less, and uh, beginning to reform again. Happy anniversary, Gaffer. Let's hope it's a weekend to remember. Thank you very much. Cheers.